Today on Toy Shiz, we're talking all the slang terms for the word starfish, and it's exactly what you think I mean. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. And today, we are totally checking out their brand new Walmart exclusive, the gold label DC Multiverse King Shark from the Suicide Squad movie. Nice big gold label collection right there on the box. And this time around, it's a big bloodied version of an already put together collect build figure with some body parts as accessories. No joke. No weapons, of course. Body parts. Perfectly acceptable. Plus the word suicide literally all over the box. So give this to kids 12 and up or buy it for yourself. King Shark on the side. Really nice art from the movie. I cannot wait to see this movie. You can also buy the individual figures that have the collect build King Shark version. It's a little bit different, and we'll have a look at him another time. But for now, we've just got this guy. You can see him on the side of the box. Of course, it says King Shark all over the place. And here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and screen grab it. Should be hitting Walmart stores probably within the next month or two we'll just say fingers crossed you know how these things go but yes in and around that time big mega fig king shark so we're gonna have some fun today sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new walmart exclusive dc multiverse gold label king shark from the new suicide squad movie by mcfarland toys and here's the king of the sharks out of the packaging and as you can see comes with a couple different accessories and a new accessory in terms of the gold label he comes with a trading card which i love i have a whole folder full of those things now but he also comes with the stand for it, it says dc right there it's all in gold it holds the card well you can fit any card you want on there it's a very light plastic does the trick, stands up, holds the card. I would prefer extra accessories or extra paint apps over something like this. I can put the card in my card binder and be happy. It's nice, it's okay, but it's not my thing. He does come with a severed leg though. That's definitely my thing. Great paint all over this. It's very cool, very garish. I haven't seen things like this since the days of Spawn back in the 90s. But uh, yeah, oh, hold on, excuse me. Uh, let me just borrow this. He comes with a severed arm as well. Again, very nice paint every which way, although I would have preferred some articulation in the leg and the arm just to kind of enhance it a little bit. I'm happy with both. You can see, God, the bone and everything else, the meat, but yeah, very cool. As far as King Shark, he comes with a little stand, of course, DC Multiverse, for if you need it. But this is a very cool, very hefty King Shark. I would say he weighs in terms of the Devastator. Not nearly as much as Violator, but around the Devastator's weight, and I'm cool with that. That's very cool. He's got some nice paint, nice shade, nice wash all over him. He looks like a man shark, and he's got some great shorts on him. <laughs> I love the pattern. They really went to town on the pattern on this and the paint. It's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Really nice webbed hands, nice feet. But the mouth full of blood right here with all the teeth is what you're getting with the Walmart exclusive already put together version. And I love the blood all over this thing. It's very cool. It's what I expect from a King Shark. And he's got an articulated jaw. Now sometimes the tooth will stick out on the side right here. But you just kind of push it all in there and you can close his mouth and he kind of has blood every which way. Or he's been partying, you know what I mean? Getting with the ladies, eh? Wink, wink. But it looks rad, and I love that. He has some really solid articulation in his neck, which looks all the way up. You can twist it right here. Now, you'll get to see some joints and gappage, of course, but that doesn't bother me. I like the different expressions you can achieve, though, just by kind of opening his mouth a little bit, and I love the way the teeth drop down all the way right there. That's spooky, it's awesome, it's frightening, that's a great articulated shark mouth on King Shark, especially for when you start putting body parts in his mouth, which I'll show you in just a second. He can look all the way down, like in the trailer. He's looking down at that guy before he eats him. That's really cool. He's got some nice articulation in the arms, ball joints, pretty solid. Now, he does have a very sort of limited single jointed elbow. He will spin at the elbow, but you can see some gappage right there in between the actual elbow and the rest of his forearm. And he does have some wonky wrist articulation. He has wrists like Clown, if you've seen my video on the new Spawn figure, Clown. So 
in certain aspects it looks like he has like a broken wrist but i guess in terms of getting a giant figure like that it's not my favorite way to do it so again you'll have to decide if that meets your needs he has upper diaphragm rotation and lower at the waist he gets very gappy when you start moving him around excessively right he will twist at the waist as you can see and he will kind of sort of twist up in the upper diaphragm one thing i noticed though this part right here if you go too far with it you hear like a cracking and then you see it kind of start to split right there so that is a definite bummer he will twist really well at the waist though but unfortunately with the upper part because it's so sharp right there it starts to dig into his skin and that again for me i don't like ruining my figures just by articulating it so that is another bummer right there the shorts are exquisite on this guy he has some semblance of movement in his legs he has extremely thick shorts you can spin him at the knee so he does have knees in there he's got like single jointed knees they're way up right there it's very hard to kind of even get in there look the rubber piece of his shorts very hard to move around but yes, there are knees in there. He does have articulation in the feet, so he will move up top to bottom, as you can see right there. He's got toe fin articulation and some pretty hefty ankle rockers as well in those big old fin feet of his. And when you get him standing, he stands well. You just kind of have to move him around a little bit, but once you get him in place, or if you want to use the DC Multiverse stand, he works pretty dang well just keep in mind you kind of have to move his legs a little bit move his feet and you'll get him solid on the ground now this is my favorite part of the figure you're able to put body parts in his mouth if that doesn't say king shark right there with all the blood and everything else that is fantastic that is a lot of fun it's gory as heck but it's awesome and i love that like he just ate a guy <laughs> Or have him they, pulling off body parts. You could stick the hand in his mouth. He just ripped it off a guy. And even if you want to put it in his hand. Now, he doesn't have gripping hands or extra hands, but you can do it that way. And to show you some height comparison, King Shark clocks in from the top of his head to the about 9-inch mark. So, to pair him up with other DC Multiverse McFarlane figures, yeah, he will fit nicely. In terms of another mega figure like the Violator, still very much taller than he is, but you're getting a lot of plastic still. And just for fun, I'm a big fan of the Harley Quinn animated show. I'm looking forward to season three, but you can kind of sort of build the team, especially with the look of this King Shark with the series. Now, I don't have the other Collect and Connect King Shark from a few years back. I'm actually missing one piece. I got the wrong piece, of course. But because this Killer Croc figure kind of used a lot of pieces, you can see the height difference between the two. And like I said, if you have 5 inch, 6 inch, 7 inch type Batman, old Batman, Mezco Batman, any type of figure around that, even in the 7 inch mark, he will work well. Even Marvel Legends, if you want to repay, you know, do whatever you want to do with that. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Walmart exclusive gold label King Shark from the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Suicide Squad movie. Now, especially when articulating him in the upper diaphragm, I would say, if anything, go very easy on this guy. Don't push it. Don't stress the plastic. It is something you got to keep an eye out for. No, I'm not very happy with it. When it starts to dig into his plastic and the paint, and it's going to erode or hurt the figure in some way. So keep an eye out for that. The body parts accessories is amazing. The bloodied mouth, the articulation of the head. I love it. He's going to go right on my shelf. He's going to go with the other Suicide Squad members once I have him. And that's what I'm going to do with him. I'm not going to over-articulate this guy. But if you are that type of person where you have to have most articulation out of a figure, it may not be the figure for you. But for a nice, cool centerpiece, you'll have a nice new King Shark on your shelf. Not a big fan of the trading card holder. I would have liked extra hands or extra paint apps or even more body parts. Card goes in my card binder. That's all I really need it for. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new King Shark. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? And what do you think about the Suicide Squad movie? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything King Shark and the Suicide Squad movie. And thank you again to McFarlane Toys for sending this out to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, hand or bird.
I can't wait to see that movie. That movie looks insane. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.